this the way that the business work? Now that I'm talking about it, I'm just going to get the hell out of there. You're like, why am I doing this? Why am I raising goats? Because these people clearly know what they're talking about. They're telling me I have horrible goats. How can a person see things so differently with the same amount of information? It's beyond me. Please stop kissing me. I thought I'd never say that, but please stop. Now, I'm doing kind of a raw, from my heart kind of video that I'm going to share with you today because that's who I am. Um, I was going through Facebook. Where's my eraser? My eraser is what I use behind my earrings because I lose the things all the time. Anyways, not the point. I was going through Facebook the other day and I find this cute little picture of a baby buckling that somebody was selling. She was offering him as a bottle baby or as a weaned buckling that, you know, you could wait until he was eight weeks old to wean. And I just stop and really look at the picture because I thought he was so cute. And you know, I'm a sucker for that kind of thing. And although I do not need a buck and I did not think for a second I was gonna buy that buckling, I look at the picture and I thought, isn't he the cutest thing in the world? You could clearly see he was only a few days old and didn't really unfold at the time of that picture. But he was so cute. And as I'm passing that post, I see the first comment and it's a picture of a banding tool with a banding with a ring that you use for castrating boys. And I thought, Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, that hurts my feelings, and I'm not even the person that posted that, and I thought, oh my gosh, is that where we are right now, is, and I'm going to rant a little bit about this, because I have no one to talk to about this, okay, so nobody gives a crap about this, but I'm part of this group, this happened on the Pacific Northwest group of goats that I became part of it just to have a place where to post my goats when I have some available. But to be honest with you, I am so scared of posting anything on that Facebook page because people are so mean. I'm, I don't, I'm, I'm not saying it lightly. They're either big breeders with a thousand plus dollars gold or they're just trolls that want to comment on your pictures and make you feel like you have the worst herd in the entire world and you're like, why am I doing this? Why am I raising goats? Because these people clearly know what they're talking about. They're telling me I have horrible goats and that my quality sucks and that I shouldn't be even posting this disgrace of goats, you know, that's the way they make you feel every time you post something. So honestly, now that I'm talking about it, I'm just going to get the hell out of there because I just cannot stand bullies. I can't stand them. And here's my point. I'm not going to go into buckling or weather. You guys know I rather weather my boys and give them the best life possible as pets. But um, if there is a buckling that is good enough to be a buckling, he'll be a buckling, okay? Uh, and the only way that I would leave a boy not weather in my own personal herd is only when I have somebody that paid half in advance for the buckling. Otherwise, I am weathering that boy the second that I can because I think that the market is oversaturated with these little bucklings that nobody is banding and some of them should be or at least if there's not a market for it you're just making your life so much harder by keeping a boy intact shortening his life because his life will be shorter being a buck and with the hormones and going through you know rut each season and everything it just makes it harder so that's that's not here or there but I was thinking is this the way that the business work and I mean I want your opinion on this because clearly I don't have my life figured out and I don't have my thoughts figured out and I don't have my 
her situation figured out just yet. But is this where we are at this point? Are we just going to be mean to each other and tear down each other in order to make our own goats look better? You tell me. Is that something that we're doing? Is this is this what other people are doing and I'm just not seeing the point there? Listen, I get it. Some boys need to be banded. There's no way that that kid could tell her that my camera ran out of space. But what I was saying is there's no way that this person that posted the picture of the banding tools knew anything about this buckling. Uh, I made a point to open the post and look at the pedigree of this kid. He had no pedigree. So the person did not put the parents, grandparents and all the thing there. She didn't post a picture of the dam and she just might have done it on purpose. So if somebody thought that he was cute enough, would DM her and that way she could share that information with that person. Maybe she has no idea. Maybe this buckling wasn't even registered and she was just trying to sell a buckling. That's not the point. The point is, how can a person see things so differently with the same amount of information? It's beyond me. Like, I saw the buckling. I thought he was cute. I was not interested. I scrolled past it. This person saw this buckling didn't know about his pedigree, didn't know about his confirmation because he was just a baby and just decided to give her opinion about what the owner should do with a buckling. And it's it's gotten to a point where like this is on the daily and people are getting more resourceful in the way that they're trying to be mean to each other. Um, like I was looking at this other post. I'm I'm always interested in looking at different lines and what they look like and I'm interested in looking at others so one of the good things about being part of that group is that you can click on those that are for sale or bucklings that are for sale and just look at others and what people think it's a good otter compared to my otters and kind of see what comparisons I can make for myself and how can I improve what I already have so that's a good thing but how can you make that judgment call when you have no idea there was this lady who also posted and i mean <laughs> this lady posted everything every bit of information that kid that she was selling this was another post she uh posted him you know you could see his structure she posted the pedigree she posted everything and i see this one comment that said something like oh i have four bucks at home and their pedigrees are better than those you know it just really makes me think that i don't want to be part of this <laughs> do you have to become like a meanie in order to get ahead in the game or You know, as a person who's trying to do the best that she can with her herd, uh, taking it to a better direction, uh, breeding good traits into what I already have, um, trying to spend my money wisely on the livestock that I get. And I just don't understand how we can judge each other when we're all completely different, you know? Um, there was a discussion about feed and production and milk and again in the same I don't know if it was the same Facebook group it was some kind of goat group that I'm part of and she was they were talking about how oh, my camera ran out of space again so there was this other post which I'm pretty sure it was in another Facebook group but it was basically um, talking about production and comparison between litter mates and how they produce completely different and she, the lady that was writing the post about all this she was sharing her totals in weight like how much milk she was getting in each milking and how much a day you know and I could not believe it like they started saying that 
you know, they started talking about food and how food affects milk. And <laughs> I seriously believe that food has everything to do with how much milk you get and how good it tastes. I There's no doubt about that. I'm not saying that that's not true. But there was this one lady saying, well, and, and she was saying that's why a typical breeder will never catch up to this big breeders and she gave names here in the Pacific Northwest and I thought really I don't think it's nice to compare yourself with other people as much personally um, body wise spiritually wise mentally wise I don't think it's ever going to be okay to compare yourself but I do understand the and the need to compare goats in order to see what is good and what can be improved a hundred percent I can see it but what I don't what I can't really understand is the need to put down smaller breeders just because they don't have the name yet. I know several breeders who are small size breeders that have amazing genetics and they have, you know, amazing management of their herd. <laughs> she thinks she's a bottle baby. She always trying. She's not biting me. She's trying to suck as if it was a bottle. So I, you know, I just don't understand the need in the end and, and again it's not even about the feed that you feed your goats it's not about you know the bucklings pedigree it what really I guess what I'm trying to say is what it really concerns me and where it really makes me upset is the the need for people to put down others in order to make themselves look better that will never work on me. You can come and put down whoever you want and you're never going to look better than they they look. Um, I just don't think that that's the case and I don't think that it will ever work with me. You're so weird. Stop it. You make me tickle. Stop it. This is Gaia. If you don't recognize her just by her head. Thank you for the kisses. I love you too, but you're just so hard. You're so stubborn. Yes, I don't know where you get that. Your mom is not that way. What was stop it? Stop it, stop it, stop it. Okay, I love you too. I love you too. Please stop. You just <laughs> I'm gonna kiss you and see how much you can stand of my kisses. I love you. Yes, I do. <laughs> Even though you want to kiss me. Oh, look, there's a kitten coming. <gasps> go find him. Go and tell him. He needs to go on his lane. Move on to your lane, kitty. This is my mommy. Mm. Go tell him. Stay in your lane, brother. So anyways, I don't know. I just I just wonder what you think about all that. And maybe I'm being oversensitive and maybe maybe this light is going to wash me out. And maybe I'm just oversensitive and maybe I'm just not cut out to do this kind of thing. Maybe I'm not the kind of person that it takes in this business to make it and not that i'm trying to be a big breeder i'm just trying to produce good goats that will go to good homes that's all i want because i want milk and so i just don't understand 
the business I guess the business side of things and I just feel like I'm very lonely in this whole situation I feel like the this kind of attitude and this kind of um, meanness is just so normal right now that people when I say something they kind of look at me like I'm a weirdo you know I don't know my dad used to say, if you have to stump all over somebody to make yourself look better, then um, you have a problem. <laughs> and um, that kind of stuck with me throughout my entire life. And I just don't see the need to put somebody else down in order to look yourself look better. I just don't see it. I don't understand it. And maybe you have a good explanation for me or tips or things uh, that you want to share with me. But... To be honest with you, if that's the game, if that's the kind of thing that you have to be or become in order for um, to be somebody that people recognize or, you know, just don't want any part of it. I really don't want any part of it and I'd rather just breed some of my girls and sell them unregistered knowing that they will be good milkers that they have a good confirmation that they're gonna be healthier in the long run and you know then just compete with people that are just nasty I don't know I just don't have the heart to do it and maybe you know, maybe that's not normal maybe what I'm seeing it's just this narkiness of some of some people in the Pacific Northwest and maybe the nice people don't speak up loud enough to you know for me to realize that there's nice people out there the Sun is chasing me away so thank you so much I mean what do you think about that or is your market I guess my question is is your market the same uh, is your market like cutthroat like that? Is that something that it's normal everywhere? Or is that the exception of the rule? I'd love to know. If you're part of any groups, just let me know. Or where you sell your goats? How do you feel about it? Do you see this kind of thing? Or is this something that just happens in some groups and that I maybe should get out of? So. I'll read you guys in the comments. Hi, rubbing chicks, rubbing chicks, rubbing chicks. Somebody loves me. Oh, you will. You're in luck because I love you too. I love you too, Ma. Oh, please stop kissing me. I thought I'd never say that, but please stop. I know you love me and I love you too. It's like we love each other. We we cherish each other. I think you're a great mom. I think you're a great goat. Um, I think you smell really nice. Yes, most of the time you smell really nice. Can you not eat my thing? <laughs> this is a big belly for a mama. You were not this fat when you were pregnant. Is it all that milk producing? It's keeping you fatty. She's like trying to get carrot. Okay. Well, I have to go make dinner. Let me see your pretty ears. Oh, your ears are so pretty. Oh, goodness, your ears are pretty. You want to be cat? Yes. Gaia was the very first girl born in our farm. Yes. Not the very first goat. The very first girl. The very first goat was Taz. And so she's a little brat. Are you a little brat? Are you a little brat? Yes, yes, yes. You're a brat and I love you. I'm very sweet. I, I will thank you for the kiss. 
Now I have to wa go wash my face because I'm itchy. I'm itchy. Stop kissing me, please. Please, please stop kissing me. <laughs> you tickle me. You want to go find your children? Your children are very independent. They really don't care about anything, huh? <sighs> You're a good girl, Kaya. No, I'm itchy. I'm like really itchy. <laughs> Gaia. He's like, oh, my mom. Why'd you leave me, mommy? Oh, here comes little girl. She's like, mom, why were you with Grammy? We needed you. We were starving. Oh, poor baby goats. She's like, okay, come over in. Thanks.